Welcome back to Kiwoon. My name is Caleb and today we'll be going over Berkshire Hathaway stock. And in this video we'll be going over the class B specifically just because, you know, it's a little bit easier for traders like you and I to get on their stock currently valued at $353. And by no means is this any small value, but in my opinion, its CEO is one of the best investors alive. His name? Warren Buffett. He has amassed over billions of dollars in terms of investments over the past decades and Berkshire Hathaway is one of his main companies. See, over the past year, Berkshire Hathaway is up 32%, which is really, really impressive when you compare them to other indexes. When you compare it to the NASDAQ, the NASDAQ is actually down 1.3%, S&P 500 modestly up 8.7%, and Dow Jones just barely positive on the year at 2.7%. But the main point of this is really just getting into why Berkshire Hathaway has been outperforming and why I believe Berkshire Hathaway will continue to outperform. Again, if you guys are enjoying the content, make sure to go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button down below. Now let's get right into it. Now to start off, let's go over Berkshire Hathaway's segment breakdown. See, what's really interesting about their breakdown is that they are very, very diverse. They are not very heavily into equities or certain things like that, but rather a lot of the revenue comes from insurance, manufacturing. The McLean Company, which is actually their railroad company, service and retailing, and their energy as well as their BNSF. And the reason why this is so important is because when you compare what their segment breakdown is to what actual inflationary rates are as of right now, it seems like it doesn't really make sense. See, all these bigger indexes are down on the year, and inflation's at basically 20, 30 year highs coming at 7.9% last month, and we're most likely going to break 8 for the month of April. But the reason why I'm pointing this out, and the reason why this even matters at all, is because when we actually compare which equity performance sectors typically do well in terms of high inflation environments, typically these are the environments and sectors that do really well. Energy, equities and REITs, so this is essentially just, you know, housings and basically making money off of rentals and things like that, as well as consumer staples and utilities. And when we look at Berkshire Hathaway, you know, this is really where and why they've been able to outperform so well with this Berkshire Hathaway energy company pulling in even more revenue than what they ended in back in 2021 and actually growing around 10% in just the year of 2022 so far. And this is really, really big for Berkshire Hathaway because as we, I just stated before, NASDAQ, S&P 500, and Dow Jones, you know, they're barely breaking positive and they're having a hard time keeping up with the energy sector, with the gas sector, with all these other sectors that have been performing really well under high inflation just because, you know, at the beginning of the year, I'm sure most of you know, we had the Russian and Ukrainian conflict, which led to not only pushing oil prices and energy prices even higher, but also pushing like consumer staples like fertilizer and other things like that even lower. And so with equity sectors typically doing well and having a historically high probability of beating inflation, I really believe that Berkshire Hathaway is a solid bet against inflation, especially with how their overall segment breakdown looks like. Because most of the revenue is coming from these sectors that really do perform quite well. Their adjusted rate of return for just the equity REITs as well as the energies is anywhere between 5 and 10%. Whereas the over equity market with information technology like the NASDAQ, you know, if you're thinking of like Google, um, Apple, and some of these other companies, this is where, you know, you believe the future may be. But in times of high inflation, their probability of beating it is quite low, sending it just around 37%. And most of the time, they're bringing a minus 5% overall to just what the IT or information technology sector will actually bring out. And so I believe that Berkshire Hathaway's business model as of right now will continue to have a high probability of beating the overall market. And yes, I do understand 32% in the past year is quite crazy. And the fact that they're hitting all-time highs um, in recent months even is just really, really big for Berkshire Hathaway. I do believe that even at their $353 valuation as of right now, Berkshire Hathaway still has some room to give. I'm thinking at least a 10 to 12% return over the next year, which again, may not be great, but when other indexes are putting up negative returns on the year, 
especially with a lot of inflationary concerns about pushing downward pressure on these stocks and speculations. I really do believe that the macro outlook on Berkshire Hathaway is quite positive with the risk and reward ratio essentially just being really good. And even Zach's, who actually shows that Berkshire Hathaway, at least there's a class B, you know, value growth momentum, it's not good. It's a D in terms of value, D in terms of growth, and C in terms of momentum. But Zach's does like to point out that they're a two ranked buy, which essentially means that over the next year, they actually do see a quite a large gain in terms of what they believe Berkshire Hathaway can do. And we're between zero and 10%. And I would have to agree with that. If you guys want to diversify your portfolio into, instead of only technology or in only consumer staples, I believe Berkshire Hathaway brings a really, really solid diversified portfolio in the current market. And, and I really believe the macroeconomic outlook of it is quite solid for Berkshire Hathaway. Now, just getting a little bit onto their trading, you know, Berkshire Hathaway did just have their stochastic turned down in the quite recent. So we may want to see some type of large engulfing candlestick in the next few days just for some type of reversal from these types of indicators but in terms of overall long term i do believe Berkshire hathaway is a solid buy and hopefully it should be a small part of the portfolio again i do realize that Berkshire hathaway is trading at 353 dollars and it's not so easy for many people to actually get in on but i would say if you have the chance to get in on the stock i really do believe that this is a solid almost etf for you to hold but yeah, guys, that's basically all I have. You know, if you guys have any questions or comments about what I essentially my opinions were on Berkshire Hathaway, remember, just leave them down below and I'll try to get to them as soon as possible. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Make sure to tell someone that you love them and peace.